for those of you who haven't attended one of our webinars, I'm Mike, Mike Thomas. I'm an IT trainer and I'm co-host of the MacBytes podcast. If you've not heard of MacBytes, we take a humorous look at all things Apple and we throw in plenty of tips and tricks to and talk about our experiences with our Apple kit. And when I say we, I mean myself and Elaine, who, uh, as she said, is acting as my technical assistant tonight. The webinar is brought to you by MacBytes Learning, which is an extension of the MacBytes podcast. And MacBytes Learning provides a whole range of internet based IT training services, including webinars, one to one coaching, and consultancy. We can also provide bespoke development, so things like templates, applications, and much, much more. But back to the main subject for today, which is Cloudon. Now, what is it? Well, it's a free app for iPad and for Android tablets. It doesn't run on the iPhone. Uh, it is for iPad. It allows you to view, create and edit Word, Excel and PowerPoint files. So what, you're probably thinking, there's actually many apps out there that can do uh, the same thing, such as Documents to Go, Office HD, Smart Office and Quick Office. What makes this one different, apart from the fact it's free, is that the interface is actually Office 2010. Now, when I say it's free, it is free at the moment. The company that make it have indicated that possibly in the future they will adopt a, a free and a, a paid for, so a multi-tier uh, model. But at the moment, it is totally free. So here's a screenshot of the Excel element of Cloudon. You can see that we've got the ribbon, so the big buttons actually mean that it is a lot easier to use uh, if you're using your fingers or even using a, a stylus. It's a lot easier to the, use than just trying to, to tap a small button, the old office interface, uh, with your finger. You've got the scroll bars. Uh, you even got a cross in the top right hand corner. So for a Windows user, you've got all those familiar elements. It also includes an integrated PDF viewer and a graphics viewer. Um, so here's just a, a JPEG of an Apple store. It allows you to view a whole range of image formats, including PSD, uh, PNG, uh, JPEG and many more. The app also includes some basic file management and you can rename files, you can delete files, you can move and copy files. The latest version, which came out earlier this week, you can now use drag and drop to move files from one folder to another. So I'll show you that. You can send a file to someone via email. And also in this latest version, it allows you to send an email to somebody which just contains a link to the file rather than sending the file itself. Now, talking about a link, because, you know, where is, the, where is the file stored? Apart from the app, nothing else is actually installed or stored on your iPad or your Android. The data files are hosted externally on, a, you've got a choice of Dropbox, Google Docs, or Google Drive as it is now, or Box. So it supports three services. And the software itself runs on a server too. So nothing actually gets installed uh, in terms of Microsoft Office software. All you've got is the app which is connecting to it. It does require uh, an internet connection, so it can't be run offline. It does You do need to have uh, some kind of internet connection, although it does run fairly well on 3G. So let's look at logging in. If you've got an account, then all you do is you run the app, click the sign in button and you're in. You need to uh, enter in your username and your password, uh, which uh, you, you set up. You just choose an email address when you create your account and enter your password. Um, you might want to put a, a tick into the remember me box just to save having to enter your email address and password each time. So you do that tap the symbol to the right of the password box and that logs you in. To create an account, if you haven't already got an account, then tap the create an account button 
enter an email address, which will be your username, make up a password. If you want to put a tick in that Remember Me box to save having two empty email address and password each time, do so and tap the symbol to the right of the password box. You then need to link Cloudon to at least one of those storage services. And as I said before, it currently supports Dropbox, Google Drive and Box. You can create a Dropbox account from here if you don't already have one, but to use those other two services, the account must already, already exist. So you need to have a Google Drive account, you need to have a Box account. You can link Cloudon to a storage service at any time, not just when you create your Cloudon account. So what you could do is you could say, OK, I'm going to link to, to Dropbox now and I'll link to uh, the other two later on. You can change the Dropbox, Google and Box accounts that Cloudon is linked to, but it can only be linked to one Dropbox, uh, one Google and one Box account at any one time. So here I've tapped on Dropbox. I enter my Dropbox credentials and I tap the sign in button. And finally, I confirm that I want to allow Cloudon to connect to my Dropbox by tapping Allow.